All the walls are painted white Exhale Hello guys and what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So after the release of Windows 11, I installed it on my old laptop which is the Sony Vio for testing purposes. But I received quite a few messages regarding the go back to Windows 10 button not working on a few PCs. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to revert back to Windows 10 from Windows 11 without the use of actual go back button of the settings app. So let's get started. First click on the start menu and then head over to the settings app. And from here make sure you are on the system tab and then scroll down and then click on recovery. Once in the recovery tab click on restart now next to the advanced startup and then you'll get a pop up just alarming you to save any unsaved work and if you already did that then just click on restart now or tap on close and save all of your unsaved work and repeat all the steps that I did till now. And then the PC should boot into advanced startup menu. From here tap on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then click on uninstall updates and then tap on uninstall latest feature update. And then if you have updated to Windows 11 in less than 10 days then you will be rolled back to Windows 10. And if you have exceeded the 10 day time limit then Windows will roll you back to an earlier build of Windows 11. I am not going to revert back to Windows 10 because first off I don't use this laptop that much. This is my secondary PC and I don't really have any complaints regarding the developer build of Windows 11. These builds are surprisingly stable. So I am just gonna go back. and tap on continue and by the way guys this advanced startup menu is not yet redesigned for windows 11 that's the reason why you're seeing the text exit and continue to windows 10 if you tap on it you'll just load back to windows 11 i'm pretty sure microsoft is gonna redesign this in a few weeks before the official public launch and one more thing guys you are not going to lose any data by this method it's just going to revert your operating system to either windows 10 or an earlier build of windows 11 depending on how long it's been since you installed Windows 11. And that's pretty much it for the video guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram at mbilal4186 and this is Mohammed Bilal signing out.